Chino. Stop kicking the stall. I know, you guys are hungry. Good morning guys, welcome to today. You know you're later than normal when the horses are mad. Ooh, gotta hurry, you hear them? All right, there will be no kicking of the stalls on my watch. I am the queen of this castle. Just joking, <laughs> it's Gabby. Dude, you had 17 pounds of hay left. What the actual heck, why didn't you just eat that? Let's see here. Oh, well, you made a mess of your stall. Gabby has arrived. Princess Gabby in a heat wave in her sweat clothes. Uh oh. Finn. Finn has the worst door, never wants to open. Go ahead, dude. Have your breakfast. Good morning, guys. Today, I think, is lesson day. I'm not sure. Can't tell. I can't remember. I have to figure it out. But I think it's lesson day, and I think we have a conflict with our lesson day. So yeah, how our lessons work is that we we book them tentatively, like they're kind of booked for today, but anything can happen, like if the weather's hot or if somebody has plans or whatever, we can adjust them, which is a benefit of being home. Apparently Wednesday's gonna be a super hot day. Yes, we might, Wednesday, Wednesday's Canada day. Thursday we might go to the beach again, just Gabby and, the, and Sophie and Kaylee and me, just the girls. The dogs. Oh, and the dogs. Okay, Would we bring, Ruby? yeah, I don't know. No. Well, I want to bring Ruby. I just don't want to bring Ruby without Sam because Sam needs to be in charge of like one of the dogs. Yesterday when the girls were swimming, we had one adult for each puppy and it worked out really well. I'll be with two puppies myself this time. Did you check the chickens? No. Oh, so last night, Dad went out to check the chickens because we have raccoons living in the tree. Yes, one died. None died, I wanted you to check them. No, no directions went in there, but they were fighting and screaming. There was a ton of noise out there. And Dad was like, I'm going out there to check the chickens, and they all lived. I slept through it. Though. Yeah, I slept through it too. All right, Gracie without grass, looking a bit thin-ish. Not too bad, like almost perfect, you guys. She looks chubbier in the camera. The camera makes you gain weight, puts weight on you. Willow without the grass is like, get me more hay! Eat up, ponies. All right. Welcome to breakfast. Make lots of piles. Chino, yeah, Chino's got no water, so we need to figure out how that thing works. How does it work, Gabby? You guys didn't get to see this, but Sam bought a splitter. So we opened this one, right? Open. I just opened it, I think. You closed it. Oh. This is open because it's plus and minus. Okay, let's do it. See if we can figure it out now. We got hoses all the way to every field, you guys. Now all we need is another um, trough. Actually, I should look on line and see if anybody's selling one because those things last for a long time. Yeah, we need one for the Yeah, we need more. So we have this one, this splitter here. See, Sam is a genius, and uh, this one's off. I could turn it on, but I turned on the one to go to the field. All the beh all the behind the scenes little stuff that Sam does, so helpful. Now if I could just get him to oil this door, I'd be a happy camper. Although I have to admit that this sound comes with so much happiness, opening this door and seeing our horses. Right, Molly? Yeah, I'll miss it once he does oil it. And it, um, you can't be sneaky, but that's okay. I love that sound. Even though we didn't need it, we finally have Epsom salts to add to our collection of horse stuff. Where I'm going to fit it, I have no idea. All right. Oops, there you go. Home for now. So. Hi. How did you... So that was moved. Oh, I saw something right up that tree. So apparently in the trees here, is a, a family of raccoons have moved in and they were out here fighting last night. Sounds like they're siblings. Hello. I'm still not convinced that our Look little rooster is a rooster. 
and Ruby. Yeah, the dogs are like, let me in there. The eggs yesterday. <laughs> this is egg. Sophie's handy dandy egg collecting Kit. tool. My question to you guys is, do you feed your chickens every day? Or do you leave food for them so they can eat whenever they want? All right, we are headed to do chicken shopping. Hi, Molly. Chicken shopping and Hi. shaving shopping. Our coach is coming. I like our barn to be nice and clean. And we've run out of shavings. So Get we're going to do that. We also have another extra lesson coming up on Wednesday. I'm excited about it. We're going to ride first thing in the morning. And it is going to be with Brandon. He is coming back. Finally has time for us again. Finally. Finally. Have we got Gabby in the house? I mean, what did I call you before? What was your na other name? Abby. We got Abby in the house. Wait, it can't be Abby. Who could we call you? Ella. Ella, yeah. We got Ella. We got Laura and Ella that looks like Gabby. It's Gabby's twin evil. No, it's Gabby's good twin sister. She. We'll see about that. All right, so we got Laura, we got Ella, which is Gabby's twin sister. She's the good version of Gabby, so her name is Ella, Gabri Ella. And then we got Sophie, who's always good. She's always the good version. One thing about Molly, she might not be in love with other dogs, and I know that it's part of her breed, but she loves people. She's not reserved around people. You bring a person around her, and she thinks they're her best friend. Slide! Don't break them. Slide. Okay, now stack it. No, just do Stack one. it! Three, two, one. <laughs> no, can't. <laughs> I told you. It's too heavy. I know. I do not have enough muscle. Finn, I need to ride you more. Thank you for carrying everything in for me. Finn's watching uh, like an animal rights activist channel, like a, a positive. Uh, animal right activist channel like one that is really kind and loving and supportive of animals but of people as well even though it's an animal rights activist I feel like you probably deal with a lot of different people that maybe test your patience anyway I was watching this channel that I really like and I was thinking and I was thinking to myself like I wish we were more about animal rights because I believe it. I've, I've seen just the same emotion in well, animals. I animals for people. Yeah, I've seen the same Probably. emotion in animals as I have in people. And I've heard so many times recently that animals don't have souls and I just don't believe that. But I just feel like it's not my calling. I don't feel like that, that is my calling even though I believe it. My sister, it's her calling. She's an, she's a animal control officer and oh my gosh her whole life it revolves around animals like it's unbelievable and then I started thinking like what is your calling and then I started thinking like what kind of activist am I what kind of activist are you Gabby what do you believe in uh, you don't know yet well she's only 13 she doesn't know yet Did somebody just hit our car no. what kind of activist are you Sophie like what do you believe in so then I started thinking like I believe in people and I haven't always felt like this but as an adult I do I believe more specifically in women and children all children and women I believe in supporting people all colors all different sizes all different ages all different like you name it I believe in people I believe in you and I wanted to tell you guys that I don't know where my journey is going to take me on this earth, but I wanted to tell you guys something that has come up a couple of times in the last few days. Haters are not a direct reflection of who you are. When somebody hates, it's a direct reflection of who they are inside, what they feel inside, all about their life. It's nothing to do with you. So the next time you're feeling beaten down and stressed out by people who are hating on you and saying mean things about you, remember, it's not about you. It's about who they are inside. 
yeah that, that's all i wanted to say i just wanted to say that because it's come up a lot in the last few days but you guys should know i believe in you i think that you guys are amazing i believe in every single one of you we are back to too hot to live too hot to live but we have a big huge conundrum what's our problem what's so our I can't ride because it's too hot well i don't know like it's not like as hot as it was before it's way too hot to ride Here's the thing, we have lessons on Mondays. If Fiona broke her phone, and she always texts me in the morning, and it's like, okay, this is the time I'm coming, and I think she's not home. She's not at home, so she must be at work teaching lessons, and so I don't know if she's coming. Basically, I don't know if she's coming. I don't, we don't know if she's coming. Did you say that her phone broke and it won't turn on? Yeah, her phone broke. Then how do you So know we that? have to try and figure out if we're riding or not. And we have to be ready at the right time. I don't know what it is. So anyways, usually we ride around three, I think. Okay. So we're gonna go down. We have to reset up the jumps and take the horses off the grass. So we're gonna go do that. And hopefully something will reveal itself to us. <laughs> do you think we're riding today? No. So that can't be right. It says it's 44 degrees out here. That can't be right. I think it's because the thermometer is sitting straight in the sun. It's actually, partly cloudy out and it's not too bad. The difference in Canada between a heat wave and regular summer is when there's a heat wave, the humidity is so high that it makes you feel like you can't breathe and it's not that today. I actually have fans, little fans that we could put up for when it gets hot again. I'm putting this on the stack. Look at those muscles. Good job. Good job, so. Almost as tall as me. It's yeah, almost as tall as you. Something about me that you guys might not know is that I obviously share different things between myself and my girls. So from as Sophie gets her love for people and animals for me. And she also gets her super emotional side from me. Gabby gets her cocky side from me. She gets her she gets her really calm, good and stressful situations from her dad, not from me. Anyways, I really enjoy seeing the parts of me that I recognize in them come out, the good and the bad. And recently, I've been doing streaks on, on Snapchat with Gabby, and oh my gosh, every time she sends me back a snap, I laugh my head off. I was laughing so hard. A couple of days ago, I was sitting in the car waiting for her, and I showed her my designer purse, and I said, I took a picture of it, because she wants a designer purse, and I said, designer purse, and then she snapped me back, and she took a picture of Molly jumping at the camera, and she said, expensive puppy. <laughs> and then I was laughing, and then today, Oh no, my purse costs more than your dog. How much is your purse? More than your dog. Huh? More than your... How much is She's like, prove it, prove it, prove it right now. Today, or I don't even know when, I, yeah, today I sent her a snap and it was me sitting in the car waiting for her and I said, waiting, waiting for a princess. That's what I said on it. And then well, I just checked my snaps a few seconds ago and it was her sitting in the car said, waiting for my mother. <laughs> it just was... Oh, waiting for a slow driver. So I just checked it and she was in the car. She took a snap in the car and it said, waiting for a slow driver. And I just, I don't know. It doesn't sound as funny as when I read them. I open them and I, like, it's just funny because she's witty. She gets that from me too. Oh, oh. She just does that to me. Every time she just plows right through me. I'm not impressed with that, Gracie. We're supposed to be friends. That's not what friends do. Next. You totally know me and see like, oh, it's her. We can do whatever we want. I got no money. Like it or not, I'm funny. Still in search of my destination. I like to pull.
you guys remember that Storm loves himself any little animal? He loves puppies, he loves cats. He loves his girl. He loves Ruby. And Finn loves his girl. I'm getting out of here because I do not like crazy horses. So it's not super hot outside. They're not hot. None of them are hot. He knows a little nervous about the whole dog situation. They remember. They're rem remembering the last time. Molly, get grab Molly. Go get him. Chino's like, whoa, there's grass out here. This makes me happy. This is what I dreamed all along. So last year we took this pool out. All we had it in here for was to divide the, so that we could keep two separate horses apart. So last year we took it apart. We took it, we took this pool out so we could make the pasture just bigger. Now we know that we need it here in case we ever need to separate horses into a smaller pasture. We also put it back in because it's handy to have. be separated sometimes so that you can mm -hmm. have a break. Mm -hmm. just you guys might remember we used this pasture all year last year. No, I don't want to eat. And there was no grass in it. And then all of a sudden there's grass this year. That's annoying. Don't put off tomorrow what you could do today. That is my philosophy. One that I try and do, but don't always do. Uh-oh. He's like, wait, hey, where'd you guys go? Gina might actually be not lame now. So what, so the girls are setting up there. They're changing up the arena, which I love, even though it's hot. Um, Sophie wants to do this. Is this what you want to do, Sophie? Yeah. Oh, I'm so proud. I like comes and goes. Walk over it and maybe try a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Is that when the blue one's too close together? I'm moving. Oh, okay. So, and then Gabby's setting up a line of jumps over here. She likes the oh, she moved the whole tire jump and everything. Um, and I'm gonna go get the lawnmower and cut down all the weeds because all the weeds got cut, got left around the jumps. Gabby's doing a. Uh, something super amazing. Imagine she comes. Would you rather ride Chino if he's sound? It would just be walk trot. Why? Because he has to build up again. He's been off for two weeks. Yeah, Chino. Yeah. Me too. I am ready to get that boy back in business. And I'm also thankful that there are no shows this summer because like we're kind of not ready. And I know a lot of other people are not ready, but like two hours away, they're having shows. Doesn't seem fair, but where we live, there are no shows. I don't know, I feel like you should be better. You blow my mind And it would be kind of a groovy story If you wanna be my midnight booba Poor Molly is scared of the horses and I'm okay with that though because I don't want her to ever feel super comfortable. When me and Finn go to shows, we plan to win and have fun. That's what I think Finny wants to do. He told the psychic, remember when he went to the psychic? He said he wants to be a winner, he wants to be a champion. He already is. He already is, yeah, and he won some champions in his little life, didn't he? Like a million. Yeah, he always wins champion. And Chino's lame, so Gabby's gonna ride Storm. So we still have no idea if the lessons are happening. We're just gonna get ready and pretend that they are in case they are. Right, we are up. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonades and you just make your own dreams come true. I thought she, she, she was a bit nervous because she likes to ride with a coach and there's no coach here, but she's up. I love your setup, you did so good. All right, here we go, I got the front row seat. Hey, let's walk this way. This party will rock every minute stolen If you wanna be my midnight mover You blow my mind And it would be kind of a groovy story If you wanna be my midnight mover If you wanna be my midnight mover
Meet fin, slow fin. Meet calm and relaxed fin. This is grass fin. This is building confidence, you guys. This is what sometimes it takes. Getting to know your pony again. <laughs> Were you trying to put the line of doom straight? No. Oh, that's the line of doom. That will be on her lesson, next lesson. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard, I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard Gabby was terrified of oxers. I do not. Don't even say that. Yeah, we're done. You weren't going fast enough. Jump. Is that good form or bad form? Okay. I know you want it to be easy. So let your go. 